Hi guys, but welcome back to another uh, vlog. Join me down in um, Topper on uh, Willowbank for a Rod Eclipse social. There's six of us. We've picked the middle sort of lake, side of the lake. Um, I'm actually going to peg. I'm waiting for a guy just to come out and he had 22 out in the last 48 hours, he said, or 72 hours. He's had 22 fish, biggest at 25, something like that, 26 pounds, so well done to him. Um, yeah, so I drew a straw, managed to get this peg. Thought it'd be stupid not to, if the fish are in this sort of area. Um, don't know if you can see in shot, but the rods are out, literally set up, just because this forecast is a bit of rain. So I wanted to... Did that bite your ace? You knocked it. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Yeah, just wanted to set up. I think the rain's just starting to come down now. Rods are out, we've only got two rods out. We've got one just out to that tree, that side. And that tree, that far side there, got three to six foot off. Um, the jungle mix, wafter, and a pop-up with just a little PVA bag. Um, on Ronnie rigs, I'm gonna make some slip D rigs up. So, um, I haven't got any look, decent ones to be fair, so I'm going to make a few up when I just sit here and watch the water. But I just want to quickly set up, do an intro. We're here to Sunday, so Rod Eclipse Social, six of us. Hopefully we'll have some fish on this blog. I've got two, two blanks previous, so a few fish. See what we get. So the Rod Eclipse Social is well underway, and we are all after this fish called the Big Red. Coming in at £30. Look at her. Right guys, just a quick little update then. I've had a few bleeps, but basically, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we've got a lot of side wind from right to left, blowing from peg one, right the way down to peg nine, 10, whatever it is. Um, I've made a few rigs up, one longer one to the left and one shorter one on slip Ds. I put a bit of a mix together. Knocked a little mix up, sweet corn, boily, some salamino. Um, jungle mugs, pellets, soaked in some oil. And um, I just put a bit of sweet tiger uh, liquid carp food in as well, just to give it that super sweet taste. Um, I'm not gonna put them out just yet. Just, you know, I drop a little, just a little handful over to get me through the night and then we'll just see how we get on tomorrow. But that's the update guys. So, uh, fingers crossed. And as if by magic, the boss is on. Does it feel all right, mate? How the hell is it raining? Bloody blue sky here. What's it feel like, mate? A big one. Big one? Not a big one. <sighs> Was that the one over there? Yeah. Is that another Bosch? Uh, <coughs> no. I am um, basically. Let me get some uh, footage. Yeah, basically, when I was watching. Do you want me to dip a rod? Oh, he ain't bad, mine. Hang on, let me get in the wreck for you.
safety and all that. Okay. Make sure things are nice and tucked in. Yeah, let's just leave this sling to dry for a couple of hours, lads. Am I get it back to the link? Alright. Yeah, man. I'll get a bit closer. Go on there, yeah, I got all this. If you want to get in. Lovely fish, though. Hang okay. on. Yes, don't know. That you go then, darling. Just pop her up now. Pop her up. There you go. Next to catch a fish was Sam on the MPEG, around about eight pounds, a lovely mirror. And I just managed to get up to where he was um putting it back. Well done, Sam. Morning guys. Um yesterday's intro might have been a bit shocking, sorry. Do apologise, I am recovering from tonsillitis so I was a bit hoarse yesterday but feel much better today and feeling even better because last night this right rod on that far side ripped off so I'll put the pictures in now how big do you reckon that is eight pound 28 <laughs> <laughs> what'd you catch out on mate um oh god what did I catch out on um that was on corn toppers I think Corn toppers. Yeah. Mm, pretty little fish. Over a little, um, over a little bed of corn, maggot, pellet, and boilie. A bit of red eye. Recording there. Yes. And then, um, yeah, I think that was 25 to 1 this morning, so that was good. I basically put put them back out, because bite time is literally now. Um, so I put them out a lot, obviously, earlier this morning. Um, definitely the right one, because trying to pull it out in the dark was an absolute nightmare. But they're out, and they're reset, so hoping for day bites, which they have been doing on there. So, yeah, so just to say, the left one is out on that tree. And the right one is right in the middle between the two between the two trees. So um yeah. Buzzing. The blank's over. Finally got some few fish in the putting blog. Um and we're away. Putting a little bit of um oh, might be me, sorry. Putting a bit of corn, some dead maggot, pellet, and some boily. Only a little scoop in, just out on the far side too. It's enough for a bite, but it's enough to keep them there. And the bits in there will keep them sort of troughing around a bit. They've been boshing all along the far margin this morning. So it looks cock on for a bite. The weather is overcast. It's not meant to rain, which we had torrential rain last night. So that's stopped. Air pressure's quality. So hopefully we're in for a good day. Man next to me, Jace. Morning, Jace. Breakfast time. Breakfast time. Nothing in the night, mate. A few bleeps. A few bleeps. A few bleepers. Again, that real boggy. And then moving down. Bivy, Bivy Central there. That guy there is not with us, but. Good morning, morning. Do you have anything? Okay. Have anything? 28 carp, 30 carp. 28 pre. No, the bream, the bream master is it? Here he is. Here's the bream master. It was a little bream, so it didn't count as a bream. <laughs> More of a roach. What are you Breen using, Saint. mate? What, oh, what are you using bream central, ain't you? That's why. No, I got over. That's what he caught on, on it. Not the bream. No, that beast of a car. Beast, yeah. What boilies so are that? Eight inch fluoro. Yeah. Leader. A little bit of tungsten to put in the middle just to keep it weighted down because it's silty out there. Uh, little spinner rig. And a shrink tube in. Little clear rig bead and a wafter, sticky curl. Nice. Little camo rig. Anti tangle sleeve. 
my tail rubber, but I haven't fixed it because I want it a little bit tight in there yeah. and then free running just so they can get that lead off. And when I create Procast leads, lead so it's as old as hell and the coat is still on it, so it's a good lead. Nice. Oh, yeah. So you do it. This is how we do it. So yeah, just a peg up from me then. He's, uh, they call it the Niagara peg. Because it's literally, it flows. I mean, it'd be a great peg in the summer. Morning, Morning mate. Sir. Morning. Very well. Are you all right? Yeah. Apart from stepping on a nail in the night. Stepping on a nail? Yeah, it went straight through me foot. That pull it out. <laughs> well, you're a fish though, mate. Exactly. So that takes all the pain away. Well, you're running through here and all. Oh, I've got, I've got a river, mate. I've got my own private inlet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two of them. There's another one down there. That's mad, isn't it? Oh, that's a lot of money, that is. It's Mr. Bush. That's the night. Yeah, I've got one inlet. Yep. Two inlets. Two inlets. It's beautiful. It's, it's like my own private moat. <laughs> Keeps me safe. <laughs> Here's a drawbridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <me> door. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> quiet night then, mate. Unfortunately, a quiet night. I had a little bit of a pickup and a drop at about four o'clock this morning, and that's about it. That's on my right hand rod over on your spot, by well, the way. Look at the bubbles coming yeah, up, mate. I, uh, I'm thinking about moving my left hand rod in a bit. That right hand rod, sorry. Yeah, I might get old Betty out. Betty Boop. Boom. Betty the Boatman. Yeah. It'll be alright. We'll have a good day, right? Then. That's, that's what you're on. This lake is my kryptonite. Is it? It is. For the sixth time. And if I blank again, I'll probably punch myself. What, you ain't caught on her? It was six times I've been, yeah. Oh. Four of them, this one, five of them, including this one, was winter, so. Yeah. One of them was sort of early spring. It's just done me over every time. <laughs> I think if I come back for a seventh time, I'm um, I'm getting me waders and me net out. <laughs> and dynamite, sticks of <laughs> dynamite. I'm going swimming, mate. <laughs> Can't do it. Driving me insane. And I think that right hand rod's going to be moved. It's a lovely morning, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Signs of spring are showing. Though. It is, isn't it? I reckon we'll have a nice warm day. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be like 14 degrees or something. Is it? Mm. Oh, nice. Nice. I'm not getting me pins out, though. <laughs> they look like two bloody toothpicks. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 oh, look at the meat on them <laughs> boys. Fucking hell, Robin just come down. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Little Robbie <laughs> just come down. <laughs> There's old Bets. Old Betty Boop. So how long have you been on with Roddy Clips now, mate? I've been on since the middle of January, I think it was. Nice. Enjoying it? Very much so. It's good, Very much it? a family, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Look after each other. Everyone's yeah. nice. Yeah, it's good. So if you haven't followed Alex... His Instagram handle is Al goes fishing. Al goes fishing. So get on that, please. Like, follow, and share as much content. TikTok as well. TikTok. Al TikTok is the one. I'm building up my Instagram. I've been lazy. Yeah. yeah it takes a bit of work, doesn't it? That's what my alarm sound like. <laughs> 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 Right, mate, move on up. Right, all the move best. Take it easy. Cheers, mate. There it is, mate. The wobbly coffees. It's got to be done man. on a morning like this. Nice. Quiet night and bushy. Yeah, very quiet for me. Nothing. A couple of shows, but that's about it. But, yeah, I wouldn't say anything. Not even a liner, not even a beep. So, yeah, very quiet for me. 
proper bottleneck up, doesn't it? Yeah, well. but he's had fish down there all morning because I can't see if I'm lying in bed. Yeah. All I can see is down there. Down that bit. I can't see what's in front of me, which I probably put my bivy in the wrong position. But with the wind and the rain yesterday, it was just get it in and it get set up, wasn't it? Well, no, everyone else had got their bivies up, and I put my rods <laughs> down. <laughs> I was like, eh, it's a little shower, I suppose. I was like, I'm gonna get my bivy up before it rains. Got it like up and it started raining. I was like, oh, oh shit, oh shit. He's boiled. So Bushy is what? How long have you been on your name with Steve since, since it started? Since the day it started. Since the day it started. Pretty much, yeah. Not if it weren't well, it weren't really the day it started. Yeah, it but you know, yeah. Like, yeah, it weren't long. Bought a set of his rug clips and became best friends ever since. Yeah, quality. So if you want to follow Bushy or ask Bushy any questions. You can choose, mate. Thank you. You can follow Bushy on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Uh, Bushy26 is my Instagram tag. Bushy26. You've heard it there, guys. Don't worry, my Instagram shit. That's a work in progress, though, isn't it? It's just saying it out. Like, he's like, oh, I've got to work on my Instagram. Oh, that's lovely. Fair play. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I was like, it's hard work, though, isn't it? To get them going. Yeah, like... TikTok seems to be easy. I've only done it for sort of two, three weeks, and you're getting like nearly up to a thousand like followers and st straight off. Like yeah, TikTok not really my game. Yeah. Not really keen on the TikTok. I'm not really mm. a fan on social media. I do a lot of stuff more behind the scenes. Seems, yeah. One. Yeah, you're a mega organizer, mate. You are, aren't you? Hey. Right. Well, I like to keep the team happy. Yeah, it's great. Absolute great stuff, that. My socials has been mint. Yeah, yeah, socials have been good. The food's been outstanding. Well, we've got to please you lot, ain't we? I'll spin it round. So that is what we got there. Got three rods out. To the tree, to that big tree. Is your right uh, one? In the dip. In the right dip. In the dip. Yeah, yeah. Literally in the dip between the two trees on either side. Yeah. About two foot off the bank, if that. Yeah. And then one to the far left one, not just far off from the pipe. From that pipe. So that is Bushy's peg. Solid bag with a little G tray, trimmed down 12mm pop up. But uh bait guru. Bait guru. <laughs> Sammy's on the ass end of the peg where it bottlenecks up to release. What's that? Second fish? Third fish? Second fish. Second fish, 24 pounds. Absolute stunning. Oh, lovely koi, ready to go. Well done, mate. Nice one, buddy. You right? Nice one. Yes. <laughs> Nice little uh, dumpy. Nice, no good. Dumpy. Action. He's gonna be well. Good fish, isn't he? Really. Twenty in the years to come. Happy All right. Go on. Then.
Stevie's on for number two. Bit of a swirl down there, so he's cast it out. Oh, what? Yeah, can we count your brain? Can we count your brain out? Oh, God, I've come the worst way here. Where is it, mate? There he is. He's on it. Oh, it's his button, isn't it? Press the red one. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's an aquascale. That is a nice scaly beast. Uh, who's baits that on, mate? Um, uh, um, oh, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Straight on the guru. Boom. Boom. <laughs> the big goes up in. Oh, hello. That is nice. I think you went over there. No, I got three. They're all. And I smashed one last night. It's wet in the van. And this one was wet and covered in slime. So. I still want to love me this day. Get that little bit of weed off, whatever it is, a brown bit on his back. Okay. Oh, belly, <laughs> <laughs> Cracking fish. Here's a stunner. Yeah, man. Stunner. <laughs> Smile. Wow. That is unreal. It's a beautiful fish. Like the scales are shimmering so much that it goes out of focus. <clears throat> it's a cracker of a fish. Right, guys, as you can see, I just saw it. I'm on the second one. It's absolutely fantastic. Steve's had the absolute peach of a 24 pound mirror. Just as putting that back, I had to run because my left hand rod. Bobbin was twitching up and down, up and down, up and down, which is then on that tree far side. Um, not quite sure what happened, but definitely struck into something, but whether it just got tangled around the back leads, because I have dropped some back leads on. I want to try and do the washing line over on the far side to get my lines right at the water, because obviously the pressure of the amount of people on there. But um, at the moment, it seems to be doing all right. So let's just see how it goes. But yeah, here we go, guys. So I didn't get the release from Steve's, but yeah, we're doing a few fish now. And at the same time, I think then Sam, he's had another 13 pound right. I'll put all the fish on when we up, obviously upload all the stuff. But yeah, been a been a brilliant trip so far. Right, guys, I am on my way up to Sam's peg. He's absolutely smashing this, guys. He's just landed. Number four, I think. Is that number four or number three for him? Four. Number four. Is it decent? It's pretty fish. Nice. It's a pretty fish. Oh, yes. Oh. Little solid bag to the far side. Yeah, just down in this bottom left corner. Absolute stunner. Look at that. Well done, mate. That's a beauty. Where is that train? There he is. <laughs> So Sam is absolutely smashing it up. It's a beautiful 16 pound mirror. It's a great scale pattern on it. Just gonna want to sit for a minute. Just sit and rest there. That's a 
that's mint. That's amazing. Brilliant. Yes. Hey, buddy. Well done, mate. Nice. Cheers, buddy. Yes. Well done, Sam. Who's got now? Guys, just a quick update then. So it's just going to start to rain again, I think. It's been glorious sunshine this morning. And then this sort of cloud cover comes in and it absolutely buckets down. Got another one coming, I think. So just a quick one from the bivy, really. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I think we're on eight fish, I think, between us all. Um, slowed down and it is 20 past one. Slowed down this afternoon for the last sort of hour. But we were getting, well, Sam's on four fish. No, yeah, four, five, six. Have eight fish, yeah, eight fish between us. Basically, Sam's had orders out this morning. He had one yesterday, I think, but three out now, so he's done really, really well. But he is at the bottleneck of the left, so that's like peg nine. But I'm wondering if all the pressure of all our lines, I mean, a fish in two rods, everybody else on three rods, all the let's push them up that way, maybe. Um, and everybody's obviously going to the far side, so I've casted that re I've recasted the right rod. Um, to that little spot there and come about six foot off on a salamino wafter trimmed right down with like four 12 mil salamino in boilies and just crumbled a, a few I don't know, three or four up on a little nugget bag which is um a little pb nugget bag mesh bag probably the size of a golf ball if not smaller just to see if i can nick a bite there's a lot of fish in there. They can't all be up, pushed up one end. Just trying to nick a bite and go from there, really, because it has gone quiet. I can't mangs I've, I've caught, and there's people on there that haven't caught. So, yeah, that's the update, guys, at the moment. Yes, Bushy. What was that caught on, mate? Uh, jungle mix. Oh, no, the Jungle Remix, actually. Was it? Yeah. Nice. Well, she's in. Better fish, mate. They come in, don't they, and then fight under the tip. Where's in that? Hmm? No, no, he doesn't. He does say he'll tell me when he wants it. That one's going, eh? No, you got a double take, mate. Hey? Unless you put that letter. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Could be a double tight. Find out Hello, mate. Hello. Yeah, so you've seen that guy down on Peg 5? Yeah, he's in a tackle company. He started a tackle company. He's earned millions of pounds. He's put some underwater cameras in. you got to be joking. He's put one fish. What an embarrassment. But she's had two. <laughs>
<laughs> Go on the bush. Scaler, isn't it? You've had a proper fish now. Well done. But she's had a proper fish. She's going to watch me. <laughs> if it ain't never been there, I'll keep some more now. I'm going to move a little bit more. There it is. What a stunner. Bushy then releasing his £21.13. Absolute scaly banger. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Yeah, boys. Well done. Right, guys, so the light is fading, and uh, Bushy just had that 21.13. I've uh, not repositioned, but just rebaited basically back out on that tree. Ready for uh, last night, I think. Potentially. So, um, get a fish. Um, that right one is just sort of chucked out there. Added a bit of bag on Salamino, so I'm still happy with that one. I'm going to leave it out there. Um, yeah, so what a lovely night. Finally, the sun's come back out because we had some torrential rain. But, um, yeah, Bivy's held out well. Absolutely stunning. So happy with that. Such a great Bivy. And uh, we had a lovely kebab, lamb, wrap. Cooked, with, cooked by Bushy on the old cob. And then uh, all the boys are up here now, just watching the rugby. But what cracking uh, social we've had. A few fish, a few absolute bangers. Just relaxing and having a few beers. That's how we do it, eight Roddy clips. So just <laughs> literally said that's what we're up to. Bushy's doing his rods after that absolute scaler. And they sand rods ripped off. So two fish within what ten minutes? Easily, Easily isn't it? Last knock and see. Hopefully the night will be uh, productive. What's it feel like, Sam? Good. It's a fish, though, mate. What's that? Number six. Well done, mate. Fish six, isn't it? Fish number six. Fish number six. Oh. Yes. Just do a quick little video out as well. Yeah, yeah this. Yeah, he's got them. Oh. But it is my first 20, so. First 20 of the year. Yep. Ice, They're freezing, ain't they? Yeah. Absolutely freezing. That that coming last yeah. night. Twenty pound too. Off the left spot. Bait guru central fruit dumbbell wafter. Over a bit of corn maggot pellet and salamino boiling. Doing the trick. Oh, I'm well happy with it. A little stunner. Twenty pound two. Is that all right? Yeah, stop talking now. Twenty pound two.
Oi, bloody oi. Fish number bloody seven. Eight. Eight. What did you have one last night? No, Two this morning. Oh, have you? Any size? That one was about, the first one was 29 pounds, six ounces, short of being 30. <laughs> and this is 28 pounds short of being 30. Banger. Well, good morning, guys. Final morning for me. Two other guys are staying on. But what a stunning morning. As you've just seen, I had £21.2 mirror. And then Bushy had a 19 pounder. Steve had a nine pounder in the night. Steve also had lost one. But um, basically at the end of this vlog, which is surely come to an end now, um, I'll put all the fish up that we've had right at the end. But I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I've absolutely loved it. It's been a great social. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. West Country Carp, Instagram, TikTok. See you again. <laughs>